Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to learning how to pour paint with Lori. <laughs> Today I have a friend here with me. She's across the way and I'm going to introduce her. Her name is Christy. She has come out here to learn how to pour paint. So I'm excited and we're going to, we're going to do a dip today. So we'll be back in just a minute. Are we not recording? No. Now we're recording. All right. Perfect. Now we're well, recording. dang it. So for some reason, my whole video cut off and we missed a bunch of that. But you can see what Christy has done here with her canvas where she's just splattered paint on it. Made right? a hot mess. She made a hot mess. And that's one of the things I love about this dip technique is that you can just make a hot mess and it'll still come out and it comes out fabulous most of the time and if it doesn't come out fabulous what do you do pour over it oh beautiful yeah i always figure if i make a mess i just let your husband clean it because <laughs> yeah if you, if you, You'll be uh, glad to know that he doesn't really watch these videos, I don't think. Oh, good. Yeah, no, I was going to say, if you're watching, <laughs> don't know. Lori has an amazing, fabulous, wonderful husband. I do. Who, no matter how annoying I am, still lets me come over to their house. <laughs> no matter how many messes I make, yeah. how many times he has to clean up to me, clean up for me. And he still lets her come. Yeah. He is a saint. Absolutely. I've decided to let her keep them. <laughs> All right. Hey, I think I've made enough a of a mess. gorgeous mess. Okay. Yeah. Um, but I'm bum bum. Maybe you need a piece of plastic then. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Okay. So let me get you a piece of plastic. People are still... I'm going to tilt this just a touch. Get more in on your thingy. Oh, baby. <laughs> <laughs> Is that... I think that would work. Sure, why not? It's got a rip in it, but I don't bother me none. And I'll just keep going over here with my perfect masterpiece. Little design here. Okay. Yeah, and show them how you were doing those bubbles last night, Christy. The way I was just smoothing them out? Yeah. Oh. She's just got a little piece of that. Um, you could probably do it with like a sponge or something. Almost but it's like, anything, right? Yeah, there's a little bit of holes in this plastic sometimes, so it kind of keeps it off your fingers. Yeah. Smooths the bubbles out really nicely. You know, you can kind of see how the paint might be moving underneath to make the pattern. Yeah. Ooh, especially if I go wiggle. <laughs> yeah, these little pylons are not always the most sturdy That's thing in the okay. world. Works just fine for me. I'm just going to come in with a little bit of this darker blue. And there. Yeah, I noticed with you, you, you pat on the bubbles a little bit like that, eh? Yeah. All right. Yeah, because I don't want it to like I don't want Move it to run together as much too as mine much. Does. Yeah. yeah. Where's that green? Whereas for me, if mine moves around a bit, it just it actually to it. helps it. Yeah. Right. All right. Okay, and then the other thing that's unique about the way that Christy does this is she doesn't pull it from the corners. I just do whatever I want. She to. just yanks it off from however it works. It works. There, isn't that beautiful? Look at this. Can you see that on there? I don't know if you can, but that's a beautiful mess. Ugh. Okay, so what do you think? Here, let me take you down for a little bit of a close-up. Whee! <laughs> Crazy. All right, look at some of those colors there. Yeah. So I'm going to let her go ahead and she'll stretch it and move it and... Burn it. Burn it. 
Okay, and here is mine. There. And I'm ready to put a piece of plastic on it. I've already got some cells popping up in that green. Oh, I love that. That's gorgeous. do it the old-fashioned way and pull it up from my two corners and then pull it up from my other two corners and then scrunch it together. Ah, oh, I got a line again. I love it though. Like I said before, it might not have turned out the way you wanted it, but it turned out the way <laughs> I wanted it. <laughs> It still looks pretty cool. I just need to move that piece into the center. Mm -hmm. Stretch it a little this way. I love doing the fire part. I love all the little dots. and I guess you're calling them cells? Is that what they are? Yeah, little cells. Lovely little cells. But yeah, definitely nicer than when I first peeled it. Yeah. I'm loving some of the waves you've got going on there. So, how was your first experience pouring paint, Christy? It was fun. I know yesterday was the first time yeah, that you did it. Yeah, it was fun. You like this it? fun too, yeah. Right? I'd do it again. Good. You know, it'd be something you can do even with like leftover paints from a project that you didn't know yeah. what were you going to do with them, you know? Well, that's when I first started. I had yeah. all these deco art paints that I picked up. Remember when we did the painting on the rocks and yep. we did... Uh, what else do we paint on? I painted on a few things. Lots of fun things. Lots of fun things, yeah. right? Um, so I had these paints sitting around. So when I was building that dollhouse, mm, and yes. I was watching videos, right? Yes. And and somebody came on and they were pouring paint, and I, I was like, "What a great use for all that paint I yeah. have laying around, right?" So, and now of course I'm hooked. So, <laughs> yeah, you've got lots of <laughs> lots of lovely pieces of art. And yeah, so we'll bring you back, we'll let these dry for a bit, and then we'll bring you in for a close-up, and then we'll say goodbye. Thank you for watching. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Comment and like. Comment and like. Yeah, subscribe, yeah. comment, and like. Share if you can. Absolutely. <laughs> and have a fantastic day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. All right, this is Christy's first picture that she did. She did this one the night before we filmed. And it's pretty cool looking. Lots of blacks and whites and and let's see, here's the one she did. Or no. This is the one she did first, because it's got the red in it. And I know she did the one with the red first. So, let me know what you think. And then here's mine done at the same time.
um, with more of a floral pattern. I don't know if I'm in love with it or not. I'm not sure. Let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Have a fantastic day. Bye now.